Good afternoon. I'm Tracy Tudup. The snow continues to fall, making morning commutes messy for many. That's including public transportation. It's continuing coverage this afternoon. Eleanor LaQuatra joins us now live from downtown Erie with an update from EMTA about their bus services. Elena? Good afternoon, Tracy. Woo! It is cold outside right now. Let's first take a look at the road conditions. You can see roads are not too bad right now. There's a little bit of slush, of course, along the edges, but for the most part, roads are completely clear, just a little bit wet, and road conditions are starting to improve across Erie County, and that could be, of course, just because snow is not really falling at this point, but that was not the case overnight. Erie Metropolitan Transit Authority reporting delays for their services this morning. Jeremy Peterson, the acting executive director, Director tells us buses were about 20 minutes behind schedule. He says the delay was primarily from traffic backing up since vehicles were moving more slowly and cautiously in the winter weather. And when there is inclement weather, EMT not only works to get the buses ready, they have additional staff that diligently work to clear the bus shelter locations of snow. Like, take a look, these two right here, you can see the bus is picking uh, some riders up from these shelter locations. And crews will be plowing, shoveling, and salting those areas. There's more than 50 bus shelter locations across Erie County. When we have a lot of snow on the ground, uh, our tracker app or also our webpage, and we do a news ticker just to let the general public know as best as we can, given the circumstances outside. Um, we try to give them as much notice as possible, letting them know if there's any delays on any of the routes. We let our school buses know, our, our deviated routes that, that run our, our school trip or services. We let those schools know if uh, buses are running behind, and we also let the school district know as well, so they know from an administrative standpoint what's going on with their respective schools. Tonight, I'll have much more about what the bus drivers face in these type of conditions and also what riders can do to make it just a little bit easier on themselves as they're getting ready to board those buses. Tracy? All right. Thank you for sharing that this afternoon, Elena.